Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I'm a pretty excited guy right now. In the last Jazzware unboxing, we checked out this gun goose with Spartan Selox, but I've been building up to something way bigger than that. This is the monstrous ba -ba -ba -bom, Halo 3 Warthog, a GameStop exclusive. Very hard to actually get my hands on this, let me tell you. I wanted to get this. Uh, I don't really have the space to display it, but it is such a legendary set, man. Like. So, Halo. And apparently, blasting effects are simulated. <laughs> Don't think that this is gonna start firing off some big muzzle flare there. There's only one way to introduce these. The RB and the Chief. Right, if you know, you know. If you're an old YouTube guy, you know. This is the Warthog with Arbiter and Master Chief, simulating Halo 3's Warthog run, and we have had sets like this from Mega Constructs as well, even though there are no hunters in that level, which is a bit weird. This is not a Halo 3 backdrop, so why they use this uh, versus anything else is a little bit weird to me. I mean, they could have used this, the Halo 3 Warthog run, the back of the packaging, like, it's gorgeous. Celebrating 20 years of Halo, beautiful, beautiful collectible piece. Something that people could keep sealed. I only wanna keep the stuff sealed that you can see physical characters on the box. I'm just gonna break this apart because um, I am not taking this box back to England. It takes up way too much space, so I'm ditching the box just for the Warthog and the Chief. Ah, oh, and the Arbiter, of course. Look at that assault rifle, man. Oi, that is beautiful. The reveal of this uh, actual set was my most viewed Jazzware video ever. When you compare the prototype of this Arbiter to the actual finished product, it's way better. Chief is out, so is the Arbiter. Now, I've seen a lot of people online unfairingly... Uh, unfairingly? Is that a word? Obviously, if you compare this to the McFarlane Arbiter, you're not gonna have a good time because that one is beautiful. This is definitely a scale down, but look, this is also a cheaper set. Set. Like, this Warthog was only $40 and comes with two figures and the Halo 3 Warthog. I don't know, man. Like, yes, you could complain about this being a downgrade to the McFarlane Arbiter, but it also costs less money and is smaller. He comes with his beautiful Covenant carbine. The more I look at this face, like, yeah, it's it's not the best design. I don't want to say design. Like, the designers have done a great job, but uh, it's the budget, right? Here's the thing. If I'm going to collect a full army of these things, I want affordable figures. This is definitely a cheaper face, but but, you know, it's a face I'll still take on a date. <laughs> and his hand actually holds this carbine pretty well. His head also rotates on a ball joint. It goes up and down, like you can see that, but then it just turns round. So it, it can't do anything. I like this difference between purple and blue. That's very uh, sort of respectful of the source material. You've got to give it to World of Halo. They've made so many molds in such a short amount of time. Here's the Halo 3 Master Chief. He looks great, honestly. He looks really nice. You know me, I am a sucker, an absolute sucker for Halo 3. McFarlane, I should actually compare this as well to a set that McFarlane released, which was the Campaign 4-pack. That was a really good set. I have that in England. That is one thing that like, I think Jazzware should fix. Uh, the weapon should not be this malleable. But as you can see with this, because it's so soft because his hands are also so soft. Uh, I am struggling. The thumb just won't bend round enough. Look at that. The weapon is way too soft. The chief himself looks really good. He's got that classic Halo 3 scarring on his chest. The silver dry brushing is pretty clean and consistent. And the gold visor is actually better applied than I've seen in a lot of uh, Jazzware World of Halo sets. This is a really nice Master Chief. Gotta respect how many molds they're making right now. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. A big old beefy hog. Grab these wheels out and I guess the turret. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. Look at that. Yo, that's beefy. I don't know if this is just the soft plastic. I think these should be stood up a little bit more. The actual feed clip here is nice. It could do with a bit of weathering on it, but still dope. Mounted machine gun. Let's go. It's on a ball joint, which actually I think will be the perfect thing for this. Loads of articulation on this turret. This is actually screwed in place. You can actually see a little screw, which is rare. So you can have pretty much unlimited articulation on this thing. The only limit is your imagination. <laughs> and maybe hands that are too aggressive. The chain gun is ready. Let's have the RB on the chain gun. All of these weapons have a little pin there. That's so they can clip into their back, but I see that the Arbiter doesn't actually have one of those clips, so we're gonna give it to the Chief. Chief is loaded up with two weapons, but the Arby has the biggest weapon. That chain gun slips right into his hands very smoothly. That's honestly uh, as good as uh, I would have expected. That is really nice. 
I'm a big fan of that. Big, big stocky wheels. They look exactly like the Mega Constructs large scale Warthog, the anniversary Warthog. That's a nostalgic trip, that big old Warthog one. Two, three, four. That is a Warthog, baby. Comes with two base plates, and yeah, it is always nice that the base plates vary between grass and rock. Inside the Warthog, uh, very plain, uh, absolutely no detailing there. I mean, like loads of molded detailing, even some like, seems some like med packs there, but no actual colored detailing. Uh, there is no color application. Actually, on the Warthog, there is limited color. Uh, obviously, there's the standard green. Uh, the green seems to be a little bit of a different shade on the wheels. Transparent windshield. And then we've got the back lights and the front headlights. But that's about it. I'm not looking for the, the wildest amount of detail here. There we go. <laughs> He's cruising. <laughs> He'd be cruising. He's got it on cruise control. He doesn't need to hold the steering wheel. Guys, uh, what do you think of this uh, Jazzware Warthog? I, I think it's pretty great. As a GameStop exclusive, I hope enough people were able to get it. All in all, I I am pretty impressed with this. Look, the, it is a, a, bud a more budgeted set. If this was McFarlane, this would be way more than $40. For two figures, two weapons, and the Warthog itself. The Warthog has a phenomenal design. The wheels clip on very nicely. The machine gun takes a minute, but is actually really beefy. Uh, I love that. And the Arbiter looks like he's having a great time uh, chaining down some flood. So I'm overall very satisfied with this set. I give it a solid like eight out of 10. There should be some more detailing on the Warthog, but the Chief uh, wins it for me. He's a really nice Halo 3 Chief. I'm hugely biased for Halo 3. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you uh, managed to score this or maybe you want to now, or maybe you've seen this review and you're like, now nah, I'll pass. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Yes, stay awesome. Yes, stay safe out there, folks. And the Warthog is signing off. Dun, 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 dun.